What's up everybody? This is Bo here. Today I got a day off. So back to Wanville today. Uh, hopefully uh, everybody is doing well. And uh, today I'm going to focus on this side of the van. Let's see how much uh, I can do. Um, we're gonna do this cabinet and let's see if we can can do the uh, bed frame on this side of the van. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's get started. Oh yeah, beautiful. This is going to be my my draw above the. Uh, um, the refrigerator very nice perfect we're gonna put the um, induction stove in here and then we open it and we put it on top our cabinet face is gonna be uh, this finish it's a light light gray uh, wood pattern finish it goes really well with the uh, stainless steel appliances um, this is Home Depot item it's a uh, three quarter inch um, thick uh, laminated. This is for shelving. So, but I think it looks nice. Looks nice. Let's see. Uh, let's see how it comes out. Yeah, well, this is what we're gonna go with. All right. We want to put. Uh, we want to sleep more. So we want to make a bunk bed right here on this side. Right here is no problem. We can sleep. This is one single bed right here. But I want to create something like another bed up here where we can drop it down when we don't use it and when we use bring it back up uh hang to something right here it's kind of challenge but uh we'll see how it goes uh i want to use this channel here and make a bed frame attached to it so it can be uh folding back and forth kind of have an idea uh, a little bit of challenge I hope it works um, we'll see how it goes so First, I drill my pallet hole and then uh, the counter sink, uh, and then the uh, uh, hole size for my it's gonna be for my um, ref nut. I'm gonna put two ref nuts on each uh, location. too tight okay now that I have these two in place make sure it's level again and then mark my other two hole and then drill it this I plan to attach the bed frame to here with using this uh, really thick I forgot how, how thick it was this is a uh, no nah, it doesn't tell it's a three inch but it's super strong design for um, aluminum extrusion like this okay and I'm gonna use these stainless steel uh, bolts they're very short and then with this uh, inserted nut inside the channel 
like so okay tight to that and insert one for now there the nut and then this bolt tighten to it so I will oh yes I will need two of those hinges which is three nuts of each I'm gonna go ahead and insert the nut first There you go, and this one, okay, touch all the three bolts, and then my bed frame is going to touch to here, so it can be, you know, it, it can fold, it can fold up and down like this, okay, down flat, this way, and then up in the sleeping position, 90 degrees. All right, my bad frame, it's going to be this one inch aluminum extrusion and then a half inch plywood on the top. This is a 24 by 72. All right, it's going to be held together by these angle brackets. Let's get it going. All right, you guys, here goes my bad frame. Ta -da! Now we're going to cut the plywood exactly the same size and attach to it and we can attach to the wall. Let's see how it comes out. I'm excited for this. Will it work? What's the weight capacity? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> This is going to be the top on the bed, touch the bed, it's the bed actually. Check out this half inch, beautiful finish, plywood, light natural wood color. Uh, you can find this at Lowe's, half inch and it's already uh, finished, very, uh, very smooth on top. All you have to do is uh, just sand off the edges that you cut. And it's good to go. Nice color. Alright, my frame, uh, attaching my frame to the board. I'm using this angle bracket. Okay, it's uh, aluminum, very smooth. And, whoop, with my, uh, with this. Uh, hex screw here and then I'm using this drop-in nut okay this is uh, very easy when you um, already have these aluminum assemble you don't have to take anything apart and slide in again so using this drop-in nut what you can do is you just insert it in there Okay, and then when you turn it, okay, it turns sideways, and then you can screw it, turn it sideways, can't see it, okay, there you go, okay, and then you can screw it, tighten it down. And then I'm using this 916. This is a self pier uh, piercing screw to screw this side down to the board. 
Okay, it will not go through a half inch. This one uh, home depot item. Okay, self piercing screw. This is a 916 number 8. Okay, it'll go right there, and that's it. Super strong. So, I'm gonna use this angle set throughout this whole thing. This one inch bracket fits nicely flashed okay now I'm ready to drill it in all right guys we have a beautiful bad frame check this out it's nice look at that strong frame okay it comes out really nice but this is how I attach okay this frame here sits on top of this of this um, hinge okay it, ha it has also three screws on each uh, hinge and that, this is what not in use uh, position it's gonna be like a backrest it's gonna be a cushion here and then the uh, bench right here okay we're gonna make something to uh, keep it locked so it's not rattling around when we want to use it okay it's gonna come up like this okay we're gonna fix this strap it's gonna strap to there okay something like this okay right there okay this here was mounted to the frame of the the roof of the car the frame so it's it's really strong it's 500 pound capacity okay also the, these straps here these are the uh, boat tie down so it's a uh, also heavy duty okay something like that the only uh, thing I measured wrong well I didn't measure it wrong I measured it right but when I screwed the board to the frame I had it reversed so Instead of a line straightening down, it's so it's, it's kind of a, a ankle this way. It still works, okay. And right now, you can see it's slanted still uh, because this is not uh, not ready, not done yet. We're gonna adjust this strap to the level, okay. But there's an idea, okay. This this is going to be another bed. So, what do you think? I'm gonna test it right, right now. I'm gonna go up and see if it can hold 130 pounds, okay? 135 pounds. Here I go. I should put like a, I should wear like a parachute or something. Okay, well, we're not. Hey, look at that. We're not gonna spend time up here, only at bedtime. Have to crouch a little bit, but it's holding. Hey, it's, actually it's sturdy. Here we go. 72 inches. Oh yeah. Not bad, you got a, what is this, 20 inches? This uh, space from here to here, not bad. Read books about okay. I think it works okay, except when you want to get up and down. <laughs> well, maybe uh, when the bed here. It's up you can use it to go up and down but the purpose of 
of this uh, collapsible bed here is to uh, maintain also the walkway here. We still have a 22 inches walkway right here, even though when the bed is up. And then the uh, bathroom is right here. Anybody needs to go to the bathroom, you still have this walkway while the bed is up. And the space between this here and the bottom here, okay? A little bit hit, but it's enough uh, sleeping space. You don't feel claustrophobic here. Okay. Um, I think I think it works. I think it works. All right. What's next? Pretty beautiful.